Hi, this is your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. This video is going to show you how to use your keyboard properly. A lot of people type it properly. They end up typing like this all day. And when you do this, you're putting your wrist in an unnatural position. You're going out of neutral and you're putting extra pressure into your wrists, which is where your carpal tunnel is. Carpal tunnel is a sheath of tissue that protects the nerves in your hand. If you're compressing the carpal tunnel, you're going to compress those nerves. Um, the other thing that happens when you type like this is you're ending up when you go ahead, just do this test with me right now. Take your wrist and go up and feel on your elbow here with this hand, this extra hand, and you're gonna just wiggle your fingers. When you do this, you'll feel that there's a muscle activity underneath this hand here that's coming out of this area of your elbow. If you make your wrist straight, wiggle your fingers again, you'll feel there's a lot less muscle activity, and that's because the muscles that go up like this from your wrist also control your fingers. So you're making those muscles work over time. That can lead to tennis elbow and lateral epicondylitis. You don't want that from typing. You want it from tennis elbow if you want it at all. You don't want to be one of those people who's like, I got tennis elbow from working on a keyboard. That's really annoying. So what we do, we use our keyboard tray to make sure that our elbow is more at a 90 degree angle. If I had my keyboard on the desk here, my elbow is a little bit lower than the desk. And so if I were to try to type, you'd see that my elbows are well, they're not too bad, but for someone who's a little shorter, they'd be reaching up like this. But I use this keyboard tray to get myself at a better angle for my elbow and my wrist. We put the keyboard on the keyboard tray, and when we type, we move the keyboard all the way to the edge. I talked about in the mouse video, um, mouse technique video, that when you rest any area of your body, that area of your body will tend to pivot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this keyboard to the edge of the keyboard tray so that I have nowhere to rest my wrists. When I move it to the edge of the keyboard tray, now I can make sure that I'm moving and I'm not resting those wrists. When I rest and pivot, that's as far as my wrist goes, making it work over time, especially if I'm going like this too, going back and forth, a big no-no, going to cause a lot of issues in the wrists here. The other thing I want to mention is this chair, I don't know if you can see, but it has no armrests. I despise armrests, and I'll tell you why. Going back to that resting and pivoting thing, we rest our elbows on there, and now we're just gonna rest our elbow on the armrest and pivot back and forth like this. You're now grinding into the muscles, nerves, and tendons into your elbow. You don't wanna do that either. Get those armrests out of the way, and you're able to work more neutral and not put any compression into these areas. The other reason I don't like armrests, they're usually too high. When you rest your elbow on an armrest, you'll shrug your shoulder when the, elbow is too, when the armrest is set too high. You want to lower that, get it out of the way. If you're taking a micro break, you can go ahead and raise those up, but I want you to keep in mind that if you are going to use them often, you're going to be going in a shoulder shrug position. When you shrug your shoulders too long, you're going to cause tightness into your shoulders. I know that was a lot. Go ahead and watch this video again if this makes sense. If you like this, if you know someone who uh, has some issues with their wrists, go ahead and share this video with them. Um, that's it for me. I'm your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. Thank you so much for watching.